Welcome to Quick Star, brought to you by Lucky Dice Cafe out of Huntsville, Alabama. Check them out at luckydicecafe.com. And now for your hosts, Daniel Powell, Jason Alvey, and Tyler Spees. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Clicks Off today. This is your host, Daniel Powell speaking. Just want to let everyone know that Clicks Off is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com, the world's largest Hero Clicks retailer. Find Hero Clicks new and old at Trollandtoad.com. Use coupon code Clicks Off for 5% off your Hero Clicks order. Merchant and, re- and pre order items do not apply. Uh, and joining me today is Jason. Slinging auto parts, essentially, Alvy. Yep. How's it going, people? And Tyler, seeking arrangement spees. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> and special guest today, not really special guest, but just joining us today also is... Oh, you're not Al- special, Alex. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> he is special, but it's... it's uh, I just want to get my own... I'd just love to hear my own voice, so I just keep hopping on every podcast. Something like that. Um, so also, if you uh, like what you're hearing today on uh, Clickstoff, check us out at patreon.com forward slash Clickstoff. Dollar and above gets you into entered into our monthly giveaways. Five dollars and above gets you entered into our exclusive Discord server and Hero Clicks classes. Um, so Tyler, Seeking Arrangement is... Um, where you come to an arrangement with a more wealthy person mm-hmm. to um, help with their... Must stop you right there. I'm all about this. Yes. Yeah. So you, <laughs> you do things mm. for them. They give you money. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now, it could be something as simple as, like, just talking to them. I mean, it's not on me to decide, right? They got the money. Well, that's the arrangement that you're seeking. <laughs> so your, your, your new nickname is Man Whore, right? I, I'll take it. <laughs> you know, you, these are trying times, okay? I will not be judged. Well, I okay, I, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. How, yeah. How's quarantine going for everybody? Oh, my God, I'm so bored. I'm go. just well, bored. At, least you're not out, at least you're not out risking your life every day, Tyler. Well, yeah, that's true. That's it's fair. There's, well, there's now to be on. for what it's worth, you're currently still unemployed because you got released. You got laid off right before Corona's. Well, no, right at as it was happening. Yeah. Um. So your your uh beliefs and currently in uh, space time continuum are uh, are messed up at best. They're waiting. Yes. Uh, there's no more concepts of time. I I don't have a sleep schedule. I just exist. Well, it could be worse. You could you could be like trapped at home with a rambunctious two year old and like uh, other children like yeah driving you crazy. That is true. I do not have that. I'm getting a little. Uh, I wish because I'm getting pics for my um my brother who has like a two year old and a new baby that he just had, and then my parents just got a new puppy. And I'm missing all of it. So Alex and uh, Alex and I get uh, are stuck working from home. I guess I'm the only I guess I'm the only, only essential worker here, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, so, I'm a, our jobs are essential because we still have to work them from home. Your jobs are you're still working them because you can do them from home. You know, so <laughs> it's it's one of those things. Like I work in telecommunications, so technically my job is essential. So if I couldn't do my job from home, I would right. have to go into the office. Right, but you also don't have to deal with the public either. That's true. Not, That's not true. personally, no. Thankfully, no. <laughs> Thankfully, no. Um, but yeah, so we, I am classified as essential, but I can work from home. Mm-hmm. Thankfully. Um, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not singling, I'm not slinging bread. Or, well, yeah, or auto yeah. parts, or yeah, milk. be thankful you're, you're not there dodging coronavirus every day. Just be, be glad. Dodging. I would say this: um, 
my hand, my skin hurts from how much hand sanitizer I've used. <laughs> yeah, I've never washed my hands or used hand sanitizer so much in my life in the past like two, three weeks. Man, I just haven't left my house in ten days, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I went I mean, grocery shopping twice, and that's literally it. Well, yeah, so like we had a flat tire on our lawnmower, <laughs> so like I had to go get it fixed, and I'm like, I just. I've never been so hyper aware in my life of everything that I touched. And I'm like yeah. having to physically tell myself, like force myself, do not touch your face. Yeah. Do not touch your face. Do Dude, not it's... touch. It's like, and then I'm like hand sanitizing in the truck. And I'm like, I didn't even touch anything but my own tire. <laughs> yeah. I like, it's weird the, going, I like push the door open with the tire at the tire place. Yeah, it's, it's weird going to Kroger and, like, have you see everybody in, like, you know, full, like, gloves and face masks and stuff. Yeah. So, like, yeah. There was a guy yeah. in gloves and face mask walking around our neighborhood. <laughs> like, Man, like, I've seen it. Yeah. If like, it wasn't like, coronavirus, like, you would call the cops on that guy. Like, it, it's, it's happening more and more in this area, like, every day yeah. that I notice. I mean, and I get it, right? I'm fully in support of what we're doing. Yeah. Right. If nothing happens, that's the idea. Um, right. If nothing happens to you, that means you did a good job. Um, or if it does happen to you, you're helping support flatten the curve with, with click click stuff. We're all about flattening the curve, um, especially when we generate multiple attacks per turn. So our right. dice rolls Flat. don't matter. Dice curve. Exactly. Right. <laughs> see, see, could you imagine going to a tournament right now, though? No, it's, no. Uh, like, like someone, I'm, like someone touches your piece. Yeah. Like, Here you go, and I'm like, no, stop. Yeah. It. It'd like, be I'm, I'm, awful. I'm nervous. I'm just nervous every day. He's going to work. Right. Like, like every day, I, I mean, I'm a little more freaked out than I was the day before. Right. Like, and so it comes down to like, things are inherently more dangerous. Existing right now is more dangerous. Yeah. Because like, if you were to like slip and fall and break your arm. The hospital system is already maxed out, right? Right. right? They're already stretched, um, and you could just get the coronas by going to the hospital. So yeah, I don't know. It's just it's just all extremely stressful. For I, I hope for a good reason at the end of all of this. Yeah, like every time I cough now, I'm like, oh my god, I've got it. like um um, that's actually scary because you go out yeah it's like every day i'm in contact with all this crap like all these packages that come in all these people i don't know what you sell auto parts is that what you do yes Mm mm-hmm yeah why are people still doing that (laughs) just stop because (laughs) because we're essential because you guys keep (laughs) the vehicles running uh-huh. Also because yeah. I mean you do house. you do like yeah. like the 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 tire people are super busy and like everyone's at home and they're like well I guess I want to get new tires I guess I want to work on this like like the, the 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 amount of old people that come out just to get an oil change like right. just blows my mind like you could fucking die why are you here yeah like, <laughs> yeah my but, my parents are doing all the like grocery shopping and everything for my for my grandma and grandpa like they're now leaving their house and all yeah i'm like i don't know it's just tons of people that just shouldn't don't need to be out doing stuff like and they're just there mm-hmm. like yeah i don't know I mean, it, it just makes me very nervous anymore but i have two children in a, in a house i have to pay for so yeah yeah well and i so i finally got my parents to like stay at home <laughs> were they not well, like They're for just... like the, like two weeks ago, my mom was still going out every day and like going to the grocery store every day. Like she like just what? wouldn't stay at home. She was just like she was just like the the more they told her to stay at home, the more she went out to the grocery store. Yeah, there's so like, many people that way right now. Oh God. It's like it, it's like the government says everyone stay at home and watch Netflix and sleep like you normally do. Yeah. And we're like, and we're like no, I'm going to the Now park. I don't want to. Yeah, now I don't want to do that. Yeah. I want to have a party. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. my gosh. Anyways, well, people are not here to think about Corona. They're here to think <laughs> about Hero Clip. Yeah. I mean, to, to be fair, Dan, Justice League was supposed to come out, and WizKids was like, no, nah, it's not going to come out because of Alliance. So then you went out to go find JLU anywhere <laughs> possible. <laughs> so basically, you can't tell me I can't get Justice League Unlimited. I am going to get it. <laughs> you know, so... <laughs> I, <laughs> to be fair, he'd do that anyway. <laughs> true. Very true. All right. Yes. Point, point made. So um, the, the, the case that I got from Big Bang, I got in a – before the lockdown happened. So that one was – The, one day, was the day before it happened. That was all the up and up. Yeah. yeah. So the, the case that was – Maybe not necessarily essential business. <laughs> um, I, I drove to the store. So I first of all, I, I now there was risk, right? Because you know from the car potential car wrecks and that sort of thing. Sure. But I I packed snacks and water and a cooler hand sanitizer and hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes. <laughs> and I drove straight to the store. I even used the bathroom on the side of the road. Um, it was a, it was a country road. It wasn't the interstate here. Did you did you feel like you were in like a zombie apocalypse, like going on a run? It made me, it made me feel like it was a little cooler that way. Yeah. So I drove straight to the store. I hand sanitizered in the way in. Like my favorites when I go to the grocery store now, I just gloop the hand sanitizer on my hand, then touch the cart and like bathe the cart handle down. Yeah. So like for like five minutes, I'm just squishy with glue or a, a hand sanity. So I went to the store, got directly the case, and then came straight back home. Um, you know, uh, and then hand sanitizing, maintaining social distance from the one guy that I went to. The place that I went to had was rural and had no cases reported at the time. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, no. I, I had uh, I saw something online that said what you should do is you should watch Infinity War and then immediately yeah, after the that. snap go out and start driving around and it feels very surreal like the world was actually snapped. Uh, all right, but it doesn't feel like that here. It doesn't no. feel like it here. No, Mm-mm. no, because like I go out to the grocery store and like there's like kajillion people out. Huh. Yeah, like Walmart, like is like. Normal business is normal. Like whenever I go out, yeah. there's a, there's always a lot less cars on the road, but there are a ton of people out like run, like you know jogging and walking their dogs, right? And stuff, just because that's all they can do. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's really weird. I just keep trying to stay inside, but you know, I mean, you don't have to stay inside. You can go to your, you can walk your dog and whatnot, but. Yeah, I don't know. I'm having clicks withdrawal, though. Like, <laughs> I'm ready to play clicks in person again. That's for sure. Yeah, like I just don't, I just don't. I want to play like on a table and not on a computer screen, and it's just uh, killing me. I, uh, I like I computer know. screens. <laughs> this is this is this is no no issue for me. I wish all <laughs> tournaments were online. Somebody has some uh, mic noise, just FYI. Does that mean? Like you got a, you got a fan on or something? Uh, I don't have a fan. I don't know where that's coming from. Hear it. So it might Here be Alex. No, it's. I don't hear anything. Is it constant? Yes. Yeah. Can you hear yeah. Me? Yeah, I hear it. Let me try to mute myself one second. Nope, it's not. Okay, I muted and unmuted. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't you? Anyways, people are just gonna get to hear this because this is this is this is raw. This Why can't I hear it? That's annoying. I don't. It's like is, a yeah, buzzing I, noise. I, yeah, it's like a buzzing noise. It's some sort of mic feedback. But let me try to unplug and plug my mic in one second. Okay. Oh, well, it's gone. There yeah, it's gone now. Yeah. Oh, now it's definitely back. What? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it's back now. It's your mic. It's gotta be my mic, but I don't know why or how. 
Yeah. Oh, good gravy. Good Sorry. gravy, yeah. Headphone alert. Hello, hello, hello. Better? No, but it's ah. still there. It's but it's it's quieter though. It's quieter. Yeah, it is quieter. Yeah. This there we go. Nice. That's better. Yeah. All right. Okay. So Sorry. yeah, yeah, I'm ready to play clicks in person again. I'm ready to get back to a tournament. You know, I think the part of me around clicks is that, um, you know, I do so much hero clicks in, in general, that I'm always driven for the next tournament. Like I always have a goal in mind, right? Like there's states, there's the regional, there's nationals, there's worlds. Like I always have that next hero clicks goal to try to accomplish and right now there's not any hero clicks goal and it's it's kind of affecting me right like i play hero clicks a lot right so it's going to affect me personally Mm -hmm. and like i'm kind of bummed out about you know hero clicks right now and it's like i i want to i want to have that next goal of something to do like uh, yeah, I know. I miss it. Like, I don't, there's no chicken wings and no hero clicks. I'm dying. Like, <laughs> well, you can still get chicken wings. <laughs> Sam and I have ordered B dubs no. every Thursday. No, no. <laughs> See, like, I'm, I'm, I'm so, I'm so, like, I'm so paranoid at this point. Like, I can't go out and get food. Like, hey, I, uh, yeah, I, you guys don't have DoorDash. No, we we, we do. Like, DoorDash, I guess, maybe. Uh, in like a limited fashion, but like I got to the point now where I just like I like I don't want any more human interaction than I than I have to have. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fair. sad. Your, your buzzing's back again, Tyler, but that's okay. Dude, I don't know why. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not something I can get out in editing either. So folks yeah. are just gonna have to. I mean, uh, here. is it bad? Like real bad? It's pretty bad. It's distracting. It, it's it's like, like it, it's like there's a fly flying right next to the mic constantly. Yes, that's okay, exactly well, what I, it sounds like. Can I? I feel like I shouldn't be on if it's gonna do that because it's gonna annoy people. You don't have a you can't just call in with your phone without your um, mic. Yeah, I could probably do that. Um, All right, we'll go ahead and drop, and then we'll just keep talking, and then whenever you're ready, I'll add you back in. So, uh, Jason, you haven't even been going out to eat at all? I, no, I have not come near a drive through in seven days. Wow. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, I, I, like I, I did for a little bit, and then, like, it just got, I don't know. I'm just, I'm paranoid anymore, I'm telling you. I mean, that, like, that's, I mean, that's what you should be doing, I guess. You know. Like, I've, like, the only time I've left my house is to go to work, and then I went to the grocery store twice in three weeks. And and that's it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, now your wife's your wife's been working from home, right? Has yeah, she, she left been, the house any? She has went to the grocery store a couple of times because she just has to get out of the house because our children are driving her up the wall. <laughs> and uh, so she's trying to work all day and take care of two young children. And yeah, it's 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 not working. It's not the best, you know. Our, uh, our son's pretty uh, pretty wild. So I have uh, no idea where he gets that from. <laughs> right? Doesn't get it from me. <laughs> oh gosh, you're pretty wild. No, he just he's just constantly he's just a ball of energy. He's just always going. So I don't know. I don't yeah, know. I would say this on the positive side. It's uh, I've spent a lot more time with uh, Theo and Sam and. You oh know, yeah, it's been, it's been real good to spend more time with the family. Yeah, that's the only only bright side I can see in all of this so far. I, I have had a lot more fun with the kids than I normally yeah. probably would have. And then on the other hand, too, I'm we're saving money. Yeah, because we're not, um, you know, eating out all the time. We're not buying, I don't know, stuff. I mean, yeah. I haven't gone, I haven't gone to the gas station in like two to three weeks. Yeah, I'm not driving to. as much. Yeah. Grocery store is like two minutes away, so one take of gas has lasted me, which is a shame because gas is so inexpensive right now. So like now's the time to go because it's so cheap. 
Yeah, I didn't think gasoline would be so cheap in the apocalypse. You know, I thought it was going to be like Mad Max, where like everybody's fighting over gasoline. But yeah, <laughs> I guess it's the opposite. Nobody is right. going out, so it's like yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, it's it's something completely different. It's, it's just all unprecedented. You know, everything that we're going through. Um, you know, I hope we can go back to normal at some point and people can realize that but i hope people realize coming out of this that you know you know spend more time with your family maybe you don't need to go out to eat so much you know uh save some money up and you know prepare for stuff like this next time right i get that we need the assistance and Mm -hmm. that kind of thing now but let's let's prep for the next time this happens because i don't think something like this is going away the the super bug is going to continue to evolve year after year yeah yeah what whatever that thing is going to be called yeah i don't I mean, know if we ever go back to normal at this point i, don't I mean know. i think we're i think we're lucky this time that it only affects at the worst it doesn't affect our young folks as much as it does yeah true that would next, just make it exponentially worse. The next one they need to name, uh, like Faust sixteen or something. I think it's related. <laughs> you know the thing is, is I do feel really bad for the beer company. Oh, for Coronas? Yeah. I guess is I yeah I guess. Well, they did take a hit. Like their sales went way down. Like. And all other liquor sales are up. Yep. Shoot, my my city's allowing uh like local breweries and stuff just to sell. Like you could pull up, go through a drive thru and buy beer. Like you can buy any sort of alcohol you want just through drive thru now. Well you could yeah. normally do that? I live in the south, so Well it, so only recently could you buy alcohol on Sundays. Right. So Kentucky is different, Jason. J- they allow drive-through liquor sales, but um, Indiana doesn't. Oh well. Hmm. So having drive-through li- drive-through liquor stores is not a common thing, really. Yep. Well, I guess we're just lucky. <laughs> we got we got alcohol, and we got ammo, so I guess we're good. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, let's talk about some hero click stuff. I think Tyler's back. Tyler, are you back now? Maybe not. Maybe not. All right, we'll keep going. See if he wants me to add us, add him back. He's certainly not buzzing. But he's nope. not there. Um. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear you now. Buzzing? Nope. No. Cool. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, that's all right. You sound better, actually, a little louder. Cool. So, um, let's just um, let's talk about some of our some things here. I'm gonna go through the questions, right? We don't really have a a set agenda today, as you can tell from the first 20 minutes of the episode. Um, so with the questions that we got asked today, really talk about what we want to talk about today. As far as post rotation, some of the new stuff, um, and some of the shifts. So Jay Solomon writes in, with most of all competitive events these days being rock online, what are your favorite events that are specifically rock legal? And Jay wants to give a shout out to Flashpoint Flood. So the uh, maps that are rock exclusive: Strange Day at the Park, Titans Reality, Ultimate Sacrifice, Oscar Panier, Belgium. Uh, Battle, uh, Mall Hall, Crash Landing, Clothing Hall, Food Court, Staten Island Ferry, Arcade, Flashpoint Flood, Let Them In, National Air, Hanging Island. Wow. Uh, I don't know that I'm like any of those maps. <laughs> I've never used any of them on my build sheets. So. Right. So um, my favorite one is going to be Strange Day at the Park. It's an outdoor map, no blocking whatsoever. It's just a better amok time. Yeah. Uh, and it's not indoor like the WWE arena is. 
Um, but Flashpoint Floods, one of my favorite. Um, I like um, Arcade um, in that it's a good indoor barrier map that doesn't have the potential to get you put on the hindering side like WWE Arena. Um, I won Kentucky States with that map uh, last year with the Mystical Barrier Team. Um, Flashpoint Flood's obviously good for Flora's, and it's really good against booted teams. Um, I think, Alex, I took you there several times uh, with Starro against your GCU teams. Or GC Gotham City type stuff. Wait, what map is this? The Flashpoint Flood. Oh, yeah. Alex is gone? Alex is not there. Uh, yeah, Alex? no, so it's oh. it's more... I forgot I was muted. Um, <laughs> yeah, apparently penguins can't swim. I learned that the hard way. So. <laughs> yeah. At least Alex. robot penguins yeah. can't swim. Right. Yeah, that's so it was, it was one of those things where... Um, you know, PJ and I both played that map. We both had Bifrost, Rock Underground, and uh, Flashpoint Flood. And we had never really thought about the Gotham City team. So when PJ lost at Canadian Rock Nationals um, like to Tom, he put the Penguins on Flashpoint Flood but forgot about Arrow. So the evolution there is, is I beat Map against Tom in the finals of Rock World Championship, and I put him on Rock Underground so that his Arrow couldn't just shoot my Star Arrow to death. So uh, Flashpoint Flood's a really good map um, in one of your mixes. So... Anyways, it's uh, depending on how long this stuff goes on, those might be some good maps to pick up uh, so that you can use them in your Rock Online events. You know, Ultimate Sacrifice is one of those that came out, and then wasn't it like just a couple months later, WizKids, like it just became not legal or something? Like it, it was legal in Rock, but. No, like it wasn't. Whole... It was right before the partnership uh, right. that map came out. And, like, just, I think Bifrost is just ultimately better because Ultimate Sacrifice, I think you put them back in your starting area. Right. Uh, but Bifrost, you can keep them close to keep repeating it. So Do Bifrost it again, is just, yeah. yeah, Bifrost is just infinitely more abusable, I think. Well, I think Ultimate Sacrifice before was abusable when Wolverines were a thing because you could put the boxing ring, this was back when you could put special terrain on orange squares. So you could put the boxing ring in the center, and, and you'd be fine, because they couldn't ever really get to you. Right, yeah. Or, or this was either the opposite, mm -hmm. a way to take out the Wolverines. It was a way to take out the Wolverines, because you mind-controlled them into the Bifrost, or to the uh, ultimate pole. Um, I forgot this map was still legal. Yeah, but just Bifrost is better, right? And mind control still... Not the top tier at the moment until after retirement, I think. Yeah, but we lose do we we lose by frost in July, right? Yeah, we do. We lose by frost, so this might this map might yeah. come and come back. Um But I mean, you know, I know you're doing some post retirement events for Rock Online, Alex. Um but you know, it comes down to can you make ultimate sacrifice an abusable map? But won't it be like a really good map for Brainiac? Uh, they did a rat of Brainiac to only once per character per turn. So, uh, oh, okay. yeah. yeah, they made it a free action. Well, no, it's only for all characters with this trait. Oh, it was always a free action, but it was once per characters for this trait. Ah, I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so it's mm. way le it's way less abusable, unfortunately. Well, no, I think the problem with Brainiac before was that they it didn't they didn't have the word free in there when they first printed out the uh, the car. We're talking about Chase Brainiac, the new one. So right, they, they didn't have the word free in the power originally. Uh, it's one it's one of those things where I wish Wizkids would put the errata and then what the words were before. 
so I know what's because I spent like five or six, like forever, trying to figure it out. And the power before said once per turn for all characters with this trait roll a d6. Now it says free action, once per turn for all characters with this trait roll a d6. So they just added the word free at the beginning of the power. Oh, so you could only do it once per turn anyway? So you couldn't just yeah. deal 18 damage to someone with multiple Brainiacs? Right. Yeah, it, it it already said once per turn for all characters with this trait. Oh, they just, okay. They just made it a free action, so that way I guess you can... You have to declare a free action to do it, I guess. It had no activators, I guess, so... No, that's it just true. Says, it says just as once per turn, and it doesn't say how you activate it, so they had to put free on there. Ah, huh. eh, then it's probably okay. I just want to play like thirty Brainiacs and deal thirty damage to your team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that seems like fun. Well, I'm, I'm glad I don't need that many now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, that that was gonna be hella expensive. Just a little bit. Yeah, so my um, – this is a good thing. So we're not going to do a full set review just yet because we don't have all the team-up cards. So we can't really give a good full set review yet. Uh, and plus we got a lot of other things to talk about still. We've got time, right? Uh, yeah. quarantine, quarantine, lasts for, quarantine lasts for at least another two weeks or a week, and end of April, whatever, month. So four weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Might, get a little, might get a little bigger, might get a little smaller. We don't know. Anyways, how many Brainiacs do you think you really need to own? Optimally? Yeah. Two. Probably four? Five? Why, oh my God. Why, why four or five? Because I think it's the best points in Hero Clicks right now. Um, I think if you play four or five of them, it's not easy to deal with because he is a 19 from range, so it's not just like super easy to pick off. Um, I don't know. That's about so it. So is, is, is having that many going to be feasible for? I, yeah. Well, he optimal. He said optimal, not feasible. Right. Yeah. Feasible doesn't matter in this situation. Only optimal matters. Yeah. Um. So I think I think you have to break it down by keyword. Um, I think two is just fine to have loose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think two is outwit filler. Plenty good. I think that, I think that's fine. Um, like robot filler. I think the common or whatever, the Superman that's 10 points, the, the uncommon, the uncommon Superman. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's just as good for robot filler. Um, I think you still need the two Brainiacs, but if you get just five... as good? Uh, yeah, because yes. he's he's more offensive. He's also got sidestep. Yeah. Yeah. So he can go pick up your objects and bring them back, which is very important for robots. And very important post rotation too. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I mean. Uh, He's a little bit more offensive. He does have Superman team ability. Um, he can so fly. That, that's, yep, he can fly. That's always helpful. Um, so, Scientist, I think he's a big help for Scientist. So, that might be the situation where you need five of them. Scientist did get that 15 point character this side. That helps a lot. Uh, 15 is greater than 10. It is. It's true. But it, just saying it helps. It, it does help. I, I would agree with yeah. that. Um, so. And then he also has ruler, correct? Uh huh. So the ruler thing post rotation. So let's just talk about scientists real quick. I'm pulling up scientists. I don't want to leave scientists just yet. Um, scientists. So. You get the sidestep and pog lady, right? Uh, you get Wesley. Um, you get a Wakandan scientist. You get Forge. Uh, those are all good things, I think, post rotation. So you're talking about the new. Oh, there you uh, go. Le you get Chase Lex for 10. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. But it's just worse, right? He's got it. He's technically got enhancements, yeah. so he's not terrible. I'm not saying he's terrible. I'm saying he's worse. So you're talking yeah. about the Star yeah. Lab scientist at 15. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, I can see yeah. the Star Lab scientist being some pretty good low point support. Randomly, yeah, right? It good. could be. It's yeah, random, but you like, can change it. You can roll it multiple times depending on how many of you have. Like so you can change it. Yeah. Yeah. And you can use like if you roll it and get perplex, you can use the perplexes, make your attacks, and roll it again and get outwit, and then you have four outwits. Yeah. Like, yes. it, right. It can be really good. And they've got three clicks. I mean, I know they're less right. than they're more than Brainiac, but they're not going to die from poison. Uh. Yeah, they're not going to die from the Black Widow popping out. Yeah. Uh, or uh, Captain Marvel well, flying around. They're not going to die for free from the Black Widow popping out. They could still make a cost of action and kill her. Because those are, things are 10 for 3. Yeah. That's true. Um, so, what else? Brainiac also has Cosmic. Um, so, I'm thinking maybe you don't see more than 3 on Cosmic. Because then you run into being able to just play another Dark Phoenix. Um, and there's a lot of situation where Dark Phoenix is just really good. Yeah. Um, so um, that, that's that's my thoughts on Brainiac. I think probably two. Most people get by with two. Okay. I just um, think he's really good. <laughs> Like, I, I think, I think, he is really good. I think optimally you could play five. I, I, I totally agree with you uh, on that, Tyler. Um, because 11, just uh, being able to four times in cap times three. So just take all four costed actions to phase and in cap three bolts. That could yeah. be a huge tempo change <laughs> for 10 points. Right, uh, yeah, for 10 points. Right. So... So are you – this is talking main board. How many would – do you just want one for the what's caused trouble? Uh, pro- maybe mm, – I don't know. So that's what that's caused trouble is just you hit a crit a crit hit or you make three attacks. That hit. The third, third attack to hit. Yeah, third attack to hit, which is pretty plausible, right? I mean – yeah, build, plus right? it's flurry out there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty good. <laughs> so uh, if you if you if you aren't interested in playing cosmic future robot or scientist, how many of these for your sideline? I, I think just the one. That's what I'm thinking. One or two. Yeah, not more than that. Because um, our sidelines are opening up, right? So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but nine all, slots now slots. to fill. But are but are they? Yeah. Because of Mazo. Well, well, only if you're playing if you're playing a Mazo, they don't open up. Right. Right. So, you know, so it, there's just so many different um, things that run through, and what I was talking about to the guys at the beginning of the episode is my post rotation thoughts come into play of. Batman, Vulture, uh, Black Widow. Um, and what was the third? It was, it was the fourth? There was one other one I was thinking. I, thought that's, uh, I think that's what you said. Yeah. yeah. So it, 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 it comes in to where you have this. It's really kind of hard to explain. Is you have this theme team battle. Of, you know, Batman um, has a high theme. Um, Vulture will have a decently high theme. Avengers would have a decently high theme. Um, So let's talk about Black Widow, right? We know Black Widow will stop people from being able to shoot her if she's in stealth, and then there's the one that makes the free smoke cloud, right? Well, it's her and adjacent characters. Right. Right. But the, yeah, so, so, so they're, they're, the idea is you go stealthy, 
and then you're able to um, not be shot from Batman across the map. Right. But that then tilts to can that team beat Batman's barrier from the Wonder Twins? Because I yeah. think barrier is going to be huge from those guys. Um, I think Tyler, I went from disliking the wonder twins to liking the wonder twins from a barrier perspective. They're real good. Um, and so that comes into, can the black widow team either themed or unthemed beat the barrier of the themed Batman team? Um, because they can completely encase themselves like eight times eight squares of barrier every turn. So it goes back to maybe unthemed's better, maybe it's not. Um, but I think in the unthemed situation, you turn into like I'm thinking in my head like astronomer, uh, black widow, vulture, nightbringer sort of situation. Um, you know, maybe a Jason for some barrier, that sort of thing. Um, but it, it turns into really that team has some really hard losses to just like random regular cosmic teams. Um, because it just can't get through them. Um, so it's always just this rotation in my head of what's not set of all of these things versus each other. Because if your team just can't barrier up and loses to Batman, you're you're done, right? Your team's just done. Batman's yeah. going to be able to shoot you, you know, influence ring, spin ring, he's activated, he's shooting you. Um, thir- what is, I mean, I don't even know, like 13-5, 15-5? 15-5. 15-5. Something freaking ridiculous. Or 15-6, 15-6, 15-6. Well, yeah, yeah fifth- depending on how much you can fit on the team. Yeah, I mean, the Dr. Fates make him six. Six easy, yeah. And then a couple of perplexes make him 13, 14. With all those theme team probs, you're, you're, you're probably fine. Yeah. You know? Um, you know, I, I've, I've watched some practice games and stuff, and, like, he just decimates them, right? You don't have the reach with the call-in TKs and, you know, all this other stuff to where, like, um, you know, I just watched a, a Captain Marvel, a double Captain Marvel team just die before it could get to Batman. Yeah. It, it couldn't cross the map. It lost map because it was a lower theme and just got shot. Yeah. It, Q, yeah. <laughs> Q didn't help it. Oz didn't help it. The reach didn't matter. It just died. It was just game over. That was it. Yep. It, it may it may it, it got to kill one Wonder Twin because Batman was on barrier. Yeah, I, yeah, Batman is a bit you. Yep. So, uh, but that turns into you can get a high themed Vulture themed team that can control the map and is. V- I'm going to say probably likely to be able to bust through barrier and able to shoot Batman and able to get a hit right on Batman. The the what's, team that the team that is. What's the reliable way that Vulture gets through barrier? So I think that you go back to even the unthemed version. Um, you can look at Kirk and Ahura. Yeah, they are. They do not rotate. By way, by the way, if anybody no, they do not. So, right, they stick around. So that comes into you have to have your own barrier on that team enough, right? And then they have to be able to get through that and get to you, because Batman's not going uh, colossal anymore. Um. That Micron doesn't make people colossal, does it? No. 
Mm-hmm. Well, they're primes too, right? They're two primes, yeah. so that doesn't really matter. Um, so you have to have your own barrier, then be able to get through their barrier with baby Kirk in a hurrah, or having your own map that makes it hard for them to place barrier, um, like maybe the Flashpoint Flood, if you're playing in rock. Um, I was looking at some of the uh, WizKids maps. The WWE Arena, if they pick the wrong side, could be bad. Um, so does yeah. does Bat- the Batman team move out of their starting zone, or does he chill in the starting zone? Not if he doesn't have to. Because, I mean, how beneficial would the Harley consolation be? Harley gives you, at the beginning of the game, place six hindering terrain markers on the map outside of starting areas. They stay indefinitely. So after everyone's placed all their characters, after the game has started, you get to put six hindering markers out. So you're just saying, for, is this in, like, the Black Widow situation? Uh, I'm thinking, like, Batman, like, the, uh, the yeah, the prevent barrier, essentially. Like, if... Oh, uh, okay. Like, I'm thinking prevent barrier, or does Bat... I'm asking, if, does Batman move out, or does he just chill in his starting area? It depends on map. If he doesn't have to, he wouldn't. Right, but it, we're, we're assuming he's going to win map a majority of the time. Well, then, no, why would he ever move out? Yeah. So exactly. So he's choosing a wide open, very little hindering terrain map. Well, he doesn't care about hindering. Uh, he does for his power because he, he has to be in clear. Yeah. So he ideally wants to be in a wide open map without hindering. Because oh, uh, yeah. going to, going against Black Widow, you don't want her in hindering, even though she can make it. It's tricky because she's a shifting focus. So you would you prefer the map not to have hindering. You know what's funny is that you can't place barrier over obscuring terrain, right? Mm -hmm. And the the game that I watched, the gentleman did not give Batman the obscuring terrain side of the map. So that was probably just a straight mistake then. Yeah, just because you can't put barrier. Yeah, so you just give Batman the obscuring side of the map and makes it way harder for him. Hmm. I hadn't really thought yeah, of that. There, there are other maps that you should pick. Um. Right. Yeah, yeah. Batman should have other maps as well. Yeah, for sure. I'm so, just trying to. I'm just trying to think of any possible like little minor thing that you could do to help circum. Like if I'm playing Black Widow, I might pick this particular map location bonus just because the hindering would be nice anyway for my stealthy team right so i think if we're thinking and this is where like i this my mind just keeps spinning and twerk and twerking and spinning and working on this stuff (laughs) is twerking (laughs) your mind is twerking it does because like (laughs) avengers Avengers comes in, you know, at a certain plus, and then so, you also get like the shield team that could have Vulture or just good stuff shield um, that has the movement to get around some of that stealth. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, can now, you get Avengers and Shield high enough theme after rotation to compete with Justice League? Probably well, Matt. Yeah. No, because I mean you can't, but you can get nine out of both of them. I think pretty reasonably. Uh, a shield, at least, not um, not Avengers anymore. Mm-hmm. So then, then comes the question. All right. So now, how many WWE characters are we going to start seeing? Because they don't care about Batman. Yeah, I know, but that's still why. My brain keeps moving because the S.H.I.E.L.D. team, I think, is very... Like, I think the S.H.I.E.L.D. team could get you to the finals versus Batman and possibly just lose. But that S.H.I.E.L.D. team is going to be able to get through the WWE pieces. The problem is that they're just so slow. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, the free thing helps a little bit, right? The grand entrance? Yeah. It helps some. But then it goes back to, like, Vulture can eat through a WWE team. So, just to be clear, which map are we saying Batman is choosing? It doesn't matter. There's probably three or four he could take you to. WWE Arena. Um, you know, uh, that was just the first one. Like, uh, Strange Day at the Park. Um, if it's Rock Event. Uh, I'm just looking through the other maps. Like, probably not WWE not Arena. Guy. Yeah, would it be WWE Arena? Because I think that hurts Batman too much. It, Batman, it could. He could. Bat, Batman doesn't want indoor either. It just depends on what the other team has has kitted out for them. Does Genosha stay? No, Genosha goes away. I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. In order to counter Batman, I, what is the best map he's going to play? So I know what I'm looking at. Because I assume he'll be. We're assuming there's a wide open outdoor map that's Wiz Kids legal that he would pick. But is what what is that map? I guess I'm trying to figure out. I have no idea. I don't look at maps. Right, so the, um, you know, Rock hasn't released one just yet. Um, you know, WizKids is having, has always typically had one in rotation. Um, so maybe there's a sweet spot to where WWE Arena, you can maybe exploit it enough. Um, but no, what's that, um, what's that other one? Oh, Skull Camp. Oh yeah, that's that's pretty open. Skulls camp's open enough, and you both start on level two, so you can just shoot across. And Batman has metric crap ton of TKs to get down to the other level. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I was thinking. Yeah, about. Skull Camp. Mm-hmm. And it's outdoors. Yeah, that's probably the best one. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the best one. Yeah, so it comes down to, like, your team has to have that kit of barrier, I think. Um, or, or or Batman just shoots you. Um, like, everyone's asking me if I'm going to play Thanos after rotation. And I don't know. I mean, hell, Thanos can't take two shots from Batman at six damage each. So are we thinking that Batman doesn't go um, on Avengers? Uh, the... Bat... No, we're thinking Justice League. I think Justice, Justice League is, is fine. Oh, post-rotation. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the giant girl yeah. thingy, but yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, no, I don't I don't think giant girls... Um, well, no, you know, I, I meant uh, part of the Avengers what I was thinking to make a colossal... Yeah, yeah, I think even just pre-rotation that Justice League's probably just good enough. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> even if we be... even if even if if we even get to play bat, uh, Justice League pre-rotation. Yeah, I may not. In a hmm. in a Batman world, yeah, you just you just have to be able to deal with Batman through either barrier or. Emma Frost, um, Onslaught, the, um, Onslaught, yes, but it, then it's just Onslaught. Like the rest of your team dies. Well, you can place. You have to have Onslaught and Barrier. Yeah, you can have both. Yeah. You can, um, but or and you can body block a little bit, or just or just play two Onslaughts. You can body block a little bit. Two Onslaughts is not invalid. Like it's a dude, that's a good team, um, but. Yeah, I don't know. Or if you play like a don't die team, like sure, like danger room, da- like danger room constructs, or yeah, they don't they know. don't they don't care about Batman. They well, they, I, know. they they, 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 they care about Batman. They do. They don't care as much, but they right. care because yeah. Batman still has the ability to mind control them repeatedly. Yeah, to true. punch you before you get mm-hmm. across the map. Um, or he kept you repeatedly to make it so you, you know, when you push to death and you're behind on tempo, like, double. Like, in capping your whole team every turn with a 12 attack is insane. That enough would be, 
like insane. Right, and then you got to remember that all the Doctor Fates and stuff could remove tokens from Batman. And does he have colossal stamina, or am I wrong? Yes, he, he does, does have colossal stamina. Right, so like, yeah, the tempo that just alone that he puts you through is is crazy. I was telling you guys in the group chat before, Prime Morph. So that's where we're going is Prime oh. Morph. Okay, no. <laughs> You just could send, run. Um, send him out. Just send him out, and just go. <laughs> you could do a scheme. You give your whole team shape change. Like that. That might help. Yeah. So it comes down to. I thought about that, right? Like you can have shape change senses and Wakanda map reroll, right? Um. And. Man, that just that's just so risky. Like, do you want to put your world's run down to a shape change super senses times two? You don't want to, but you have to sometimes. You might, dude. Or you might, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's just gonna end up being one of those uh, like battle simulators where you send out a wave of really cheap retail. And your team goes behind them, and your retail's just dying every turn until your team's there in front of Batman. Because I mean, he's lo- he has no way to be colossal, so he's stuck being his size, which is I guess one tiny silver lining. So you can technically body block with your colossals; they're going to die um, mm-hmm. unless he just mind controls them. But you could technically do a like moving forward. Why don't you do like a tri in a wall? He can't mind control them. He could just he shoot him though. Yeah, well, shoot yeah. Well, it's just it's better than the other retail, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I think that you can you you'd have to be able to place your you have to be able to play enough retail to place your retail in front of your retail and keep the retail other angles from being blocked. It's a lot of retail. What about like a bunch of like orange Proteus instead of wall of barrier? <laughs> they just keep moving up. Well, this is where I would say, hey guys, I just posted a Patreon video for everyone to be able to watch <laughs> that talks about Orange Proteus and Ancient Hold and the Brute Steam team. No. Um, but that, that comes in like Orange Proteus is fine, um, but you got to have enough oomph to win map or, or they'll just get shot from across the map. So it's just random outdoor map is good enough. Is there any mystic mystics that could take a hit and still be good? Why? If you could take a hit and he takes three myst four mystics, he's dead. I mean, it's not like uh, Vulture who could just keep going and just take mystics at the very end. He's got to take yeah. it. He hits, kills things, okay, but he takes mystics. Like, oh, you, so like, if there's like three mystic pieces that have a stop click or something? Yeah, well, I'm, just, just, I'm like, just saying, is there any mystics that could? Besides... Why don't you just like get a bunch of Doctor Fates to cross and, and body, body block with them, and then he kills he kills himself shooting the Doctor Fates? You could just mind control him. Correct. And, and then, like what? And then and he then... gets six yeah. enhancements on his mind control attacks. I mean, shade isn't a terrible What's option. What's enhancement have to do with mind control attacks? No, uh, you, you mind control the Dr. Fates, Jason, oh, so yeah, that they're, shoot they're, each other, all, yeah. they're yeah. all 10 for 6 shooting back at your team. Well, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Like, Not yeah, all I, of them, but the math works out. I mean, I, I was kidding earlier, but, like, it does Shade see a lot more play? Because... I don't think a lot more. I, she's a good option. I mean, she's just... She, I he, she's always been okay. Because he doesn't get to choose who he targets. He just targets everybody. He doesn't say, I don't target this one, I don't target this one. He just targets everyone, right? Every opposing. Probably. So he has to target Shade. Right. If he, and then he, if he wants to or not. Can Shade make you shoot yourself? Yeah, yes. Not that's yourself. The, no, she can't make you not shoot your, yourself. Yeah. Self, self. She can make okay. you shoot your own team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, With the barrier, though, I feel like there's ways to just get around that. Right? Just like barrier around Batman, then have him attack so that you can't see your team. He won't get the enhancements, though. Well, I was thinking perplexes, I guess, but yeah. 
He's he uses the fates perpl- uh, the enhancements. That makes, that makes sense. But yeah, for th- I mean three damage is probably enough, or end cap or mind control. It makes him think at least, I guess. Well, that's why I was joking about uh, morph because morph does the same thing, just a higher chance of doing it. Yeah, he rolls yeah, yeah. change with a four through six, and he gets to do that. So I'm thinking morph literally on a black widow team because morph has spy. Spy, yeah. So I could just stick 25 point morph on a Black Widow team, just to be annoying, because that's what he is in the TV show. It's annoying. <laughs> Fair, I guess. I'm not. Uh, um, I'm not completely hating this idea, though. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 an option. I, Shade changing girl is annoying. <laughs> I do not like playing against her. She makes me think too hard. Yeah, I'm just going through all the Mystic Team ability pieces in Modern right now. I forgot Ultra uh, Chase uh, Thanos had it. <laughs> he does. It's typically yeah. it's typically a negative. Negative, yeah. Yeah. But it, it totally could be a positive. Um, Prime Spider Woman. Yes. She, she yeah, has that, shape change. She has, she has shape change in senses at least. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying it's a great idea. I'm just spitballing here while we're while we're talking. Uh, I mean, Sheriff Strange, mystical uh, team, you know. I mean, I mean, to be honest, for mystical, you're just gonna play the Fates also. Yeah. He's gonna have to shoot the Fates. So if he or, kills, well, we no, we talked about this. He's just mind controls. Yeah, okay, but then if you're just if you have him adjacent, they still gotta break away to try to. It's true. They can't just turn around oh, and just, shoot you they just like, if they don't break away. Do what? You at least kill all the fates with the fates. At the very least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, how, so how do we think Ruler does against Batman? Depends on Ruler, I guess. Ruler, or Ruler or Hellfire? Uh, Hellfire pro- does good, because of Emma. Yeah, That's I think I, I, I'm talking purely Emma purely, Frost. Pure, purely Batman, right? I think it's just fine against Batman. Um, but again, I just still keep getting twisted on like Vulture still a thing, and like Emma just sucks against Vulture. Yeah. Does she? She not have anything. Got I don't even know what she does. ESD and Mastermind. That's about it. Mastermind doesn't help. Just kill anything else. Um, yeah, I don't know what that team looks like that it could deal with Vulture. I, I mean, it, it can't. I, I don't why, think. Why, why are we? Why would you be playing Vulture over, <laughs> um, Batman? <laughs> Is Batman. there a reason? Is it Amber Frost? Is that the reason? Well, J- Jason is still a big figure like he's still a, a, a threat but well so like i'll just say i'll just take it from uh if i'm thinking like scott crampton oh god right i mean it's <laughs> well so i mean if you think about it we're going into a meta that scott crampton excelled at which was just a bunch of figures out on a map and whatever right there's <laughs> You you just you're just playing with whatever you brought, right? You get no real variability into your team. So how do you get to add variability to your team? Uh, and Scott's played a lot of Jason and Vulture together. So you, you use Jason for your TK and your barrier, and um, you just send out Vulture that away, right? Yeah. And yeah. You I, know. I, I think the answer is is that I might be playing Jason post rotation. That's not unvalid. He's really good. I don't think he's I don't think yeah. he's that great right now with ID cards. Um, I, I still stand by that one. I don't think he's that great right now. Um, Jason, you crazy? I I I agree. Whenever you have a nine of nine out of ten win rate against Jason, you're you're probably have a different opinion. Um, yeah, but you know, never mind. <laughs> you, you beat a lot of stuff. That doesn't mean it's bad. 
Uh, to me, it does. If I'm not going to play the stuff that can't beat what I'm playing, then why would I even think about playing it? That's fair. So, um, yeah, that's that pre rotation, Jason, I don't think is as good as he could be. Um, he's definitely not as good as he will be post rotation. So, is it just Jason relies on Tri Sentinels to get through barrier teams? Or how does he get through barrier teams? I think, yeah, it's Tri Sentinels. Yeah, answer. Tri Sentinel. Tri Sentinels, the best answer in post rotation. Yeah. Barrier. And so, yeah. So, can I was doing the math just now. How are you? Tri Sentinel can't get across the mat without perplexes to destroy barrier first turn or se- second turn. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so Tri Sentinel can't kill barrier second turn. How? Because they're in their starting zone. They could get the cl- uh, they could get to twenty because they have an eight movement side uh, side step and then they have nine range and they're a two by two. So they can't yeah, get, they can get to- their turn two. Oh, you're yeah, they- okay. I'm assuming they're not going to make it. Batman's going to kill them before they get there. Sure. Like, just period. Because that was my first thought was, well, if it's a barrier team, I'm tr- I'm playing Tri-Sentinels, and they'll just do-do-do, run over, and just shoot them. But I, they can't make it that turn. So when Batman comes around to his second turn, not that they could damage him anyway, because it's still first turn immunity, and Batman's not moving. So... Yeah, try. I don't know if Tri Sentinels are gonna save Jason from Barrier, at least like Barrier Batman. Well, couldn't you just body block one of your Tri Sentinels and then you can retail when he kills the other ones? That's the thing is yeah. that an, out, an outdoor map he has enough TK to be able to get out to the to the sideline to the side angle to shoot them both. And at that point, he's up sixty something points to him being only forty. So it's like, all right, well, I killed Batman. Well, I'm still down 20, 40 points, whatever else he killed. Because Batman's just so cheap. Right. Well, if you, I mean, if you retailed on them, it'd, it'd probably kill more than that. But but you're not going to get a right. chance to retail. You're just not going to get a chance. I mean, there technically could be a way where you... You should use... be able to do that. Yeah. It, it's you should, just... If you had enough, you had enough tri signal, you should be able to put one in the corner and keep him from getting shot. But the problem is, as you build that much retail, then that means Vulture has so much more fodder to just go through. Yeah. So it is like a two evils. Right. Yeah. You get it. You're getting it, Alex. It's it's these two yeah. evils. It's it's a rock paper scissors. It's 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 becoming a rock paper yeah, scissors. Yeah, Batman has is the problem. What what is it? What did you say, Tyler? Yeah, what'd I you said say? Batman has rock and paper. That's the problem. In a rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> mm, yeah, I would agree. I can agree with that, right? I, I would agree with that. Um, <sighs> so, and it doesn't look like Batman's getting changed. They released all the erratas for the set, and Batman didn't get changed. Yeah, because we haven't seen him. I don't know. I'm, it's, I'm interested to see how these online tournaments are going to go. Yeah. Uh, post rotation. I, mean, I agree is, with you. In this last qualifier, we did see two or three Vulture teams, and two of them made top eight. Yeah. I mean, which we hadn't seen a lot of Vulture when the cap came out. Like, he was there, but he wasn't, like, winning, winning. He was just kind of a – I guess it's more of this is people actually playing what they would play as opposed to just trying out new things, which is why we probably didn't see Vulture before as right. evident – like, as popular. So – now he he is I mean he two of them made top eight. Now is, I would say I would go ahead and say I told y'all, then that means y'all being all of our listeners that Uni could lose to Vulture, <laughs> and I did. You can watch the match on their YouTube channel. It's the last match I played that day, and I lost to Vulture. Vulture is good on a theme team. Can he's you not good. build? Yeah. He's good, yeah. boys. But can't you build a big enough mystical theme to get Ancient Hold against both of those teams? Probably. Against what? Vulture? Oh, Vulture or Batman. Uh, so Vulture could be a plus 22. From Sorry. what? Brute. 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 Okay. 
So, I mean, that's it's. do I think it's likely? Have I formed that thought? Not completely. Um, right. But J Justice League is 12 plus right now? Well, you can do a pretty high mystical theme. I mean, Dr. Fate's mystical. But then it comes down to, yeah, 15 versus 15? Uh, so um, then it's, just a, it's, it's a coin flip then, right? It goes from rock, paper, scissors to a coin flip. How high do you think uh, Black Widow will go? So that's Spy, right? Spy or Avengers? Um, let's just take a look at Spy. Cause sp- you're probably going Spy because the Widow's initiate gives you plus two, right? Let's so see. four Widows give you gives you plus eight, so 100 points for plus eight to your theme. That's not great. I don't know why you'd play that many Widow initiates, but... They do have the whole... They count as two for your theme team. Mm-hmm. So you can play one or two to kind of boost it up a bit. Right. Yeah, so it's the Widow's Initiate. Um, 25 points? Yeah, it's a little pricey. Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it's five points over what yeah. it should. Five points over Fate or Brainiac or something like that or Superman. Um, shield agent shield officer eh, both have spy you know I don't know uh, Coulson is a big one yeah I think we're talking about the fluff at this point right but uh, I think no. I think you also have to think about and this is, comes back to spy could get there if you're thinking just exclusively Batman this doesn't work but in this whole circular discussion i have with myself all the time <laughs> sure is uh, the sh- the shield the, sh- the spy team has to have the offense to go the the shield team also has to have the offense eventually to get to batman i mean batman has other things right if you take forever to get across the map like apache chief can just quake your ass finally And you might build for Batman and Vulture, but then get whooped by a Hulk team. Because you got to have enough damage mm-hmm. output to handle one of those type of teams. What what kind of Hulk team are we talking about? Uh, like Matt Donham played Onslaught mm-hmm. Hulk. Oh, yeah, like yeah, it'd be like Immortal Hulk Onslaught. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So you got to have enough firepower to actually get through Hulk, because even though he doesn't have the IDs anymore, he's still good. So... Mm-hmm. Or you have to have the continual mm-hmm. barrier to lock Hulk down. True. Yeah. So I, I, I like it that it's a wide open meta. Like I get it that there's all these things, but it's it is centered around Batman. He's kind of the focal point of this new universe, and um, the variability in teams just becomes so low instantly because of Batman mm-hmm. uh, that that some of these Which things all issue. yeah now yeah. if Batman if Batman was gone I, I feel better about you know it opens it back up to different cosmic theme teams uh, and that sort of thing um, but it, it still just rotates itself around and around right now. To whereas you just can't play a good team that has variability in its IDs. Um, I don't know. Like I'm not complaining that IDs are gone. It just is what it is. But folks are going to realize have to come to realize that um, it, it comes down to match luck, uh, match match luck, uh, match up luck, and you know. Uh, dice, right? It, it, it truly becomes kind of a, a pretty much a dice game, right? So, you know, you can't build all of these answers into your team anymore for for low for lower amount of points. I'm just trying to think mm-hmm. of besides tri sentinels, what is a reliable way? I mean, I know you've talked about how you were doing the the uh, 
barrier thing before, but besides tri sentinels, what's a an option to get rid of blocking outside of wasting an action for someone to shoot one? Well, a Kirk and a Hura. Sure. Yeah. But uh, I'm thinking I'm thinking more like something that's because that's not going to be themed no matter what you do for those. Yeah, I, there is not really much options to get rid of barrier, right? There's nothing just a racist barrier that I can think of. Like I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking at figures that could just get through. Juggernaut. Here. I mean, you got Songbird, <laughs> technically, because that was the question before: was Songbird on an Avengers team where she could just come over, do barrier for free to place a marker and remove all the other barrier markers? Yeah. So I mean, that's technically an option for Avengers, but not a very good one. But it technically is one. And then what yeah. else did we have there? Um, we said Juggernaut. Jason said Juggernaut. Tri Sentinel. Um, does anything else have improved movement blocking? Uh, <laughs> Proteus technically. Black Adam. Black Adam, yeah. 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 Okay. And, and Mystic. Uh, Mystics. The the one. What was the one that I saw that I liked? Um, oh man. That had improved movement uh, blocking. Oh, no, no, it wasn't improved movement blocking. I think my other scientist theme team that could work, all right, this is going to come a little bit out of left field, guys, okay? okay. Regent. No, oh, I'm, yeah, he can just I like pick him. through it, yeah. Looking at him. But I think he has a bit of a problem on his approach, uh, I have to look at the dial. Um, yeah, he's only got, I mean, like, he's uh, 240 at full. So, like, that's just not happening. Yeah. So, if you play him at 100, um, he has Scientist, he also has Ruler, and he has Armor. So, I guess is maybe one of these, did Armor come up in one of these... Uh, fluffy teams. There's no like armor uh, fluff at this point, right? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, there was no armor fluff. Um, the ruler fluff and the scientist fluff with Brainiac could work, but then I would give Jason a little bit of credit there on feasibility. So is Regent. Two regents and ten brainiacs. Is that feasible? I don't uh, know. Seriously doubt it. Fifteen hundred dollars worth of brainiacs on a team <laughs> to maybe not lose map to Batman. And then your and then your yeah. main attacker has a ten and your main attacker has a ten attack. Yeah. Ten attack, three damage, let's go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, maybe maybe not that. That ain't it, Chief. That's not it, but we were talking about just options in general right. here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, all right, what about this idea of body blocking to get some of those mind controllers in space, in, in place? Like Ultra Humanite, Prime, Black Panther, like they all can mind control through blocking. Uh-huh. So getting them into some sort of place to where, like I said, like with the, the Colossals blocking their way to up there. To where they can then mind control to someone eventually killing Batman or something else. Oh, you do have some armor themed fluff, Dan. What do you got? Colossal Iceman's got armor. What? <laughs> yep. That's pretty cool. There goes the, there goes the market on uh, on Iceman. <laughs> yep. Fifteen points. Get wrecked. Yeah. Oh, that just sounds. I guess you'd have a retail. You have several. <laughs> oh man, if only the guard command was lower amounts of points. Um, yeah, I, I mean that that this is an option. I mean, I like that. I mean, hell, it might just be good as anything else, right? Well, it's definitely yeah. not going to cost you as much as a bunch of brainiac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Oh, I don't even have one yet. Uh, wait, I thought you got one. Did you not? <laughs> no, I haven't got one. I got a Lex, but not a Brainiac. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor man's uh, Brainiac. That's true enough. 
Um, it just he has all the same keywords as Brainiac, so he's just like not useful. Right. Well, he's useful. <laughs> he's just he's he, there's never an optimal build that has Lex Luthor on it, basically. I, I agree with what I'm picking up. I'm picking up what you're putting down there. Yeah, he's still really good. He just mm-hmm. he will never be. He's, on he's just outclassed by Brainiac all the time. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's see. I was just looking to see if there was anything like super old that had armor that was really good. Do you think maybe there's like a a one man army that could stand up to Batman? So, no, I don't think so. Um, what about Juggernaut? Because he can end cap. Juggernaut can't well, end cap or mind controlled. Uh, well, so I would say of, Aaron... he, has a ton of, he has a ton of invincible and he breaks blocking. And uh, Aaron Lloyd mentioned him um, with like Blob, so that you can have mastermind it. Yeah, um, but Blob doesn't take. Does Blob take one damage at a time? He takes one. He takes one at a time. Yeah. If he if he's been moved or something, right? Or haven't moved or. Uh, hold I on. I think it just takes one. I'll tell you. Hold on. See, it says. Uh... Yeah, no, he well, takes a maximum that, uh, of one damage from attacks. So yeah. I, I'm thinking of the stability tokens. I got it though. Yeah. yeah so be, I. Be, yeah. The thing is, is that uh, if you, it all depends on angles, right? And Batman. Well, so I was. Can, Batman I was get the angles. A, a one man army, like literally a 300 point piece or a 290 point piece, if you catch my drift. So you like, need one that, something like that. Man. So, so I, I get you. Do you think that gold? What you're saying is, do you think gold Amazo could do it? Or yeah, something else. But yeah, basically. So I think gold Amazo will be good, but he runs into the. Um, he would take. Can he get there? I don't think he can get there. Not in one turn. Oh, you're saying with barrier? Yeah, he he'll they'll just barrier and just keep shooting him. So are you playing two Wonder Twins on this team? Is that how you're getting that double barrier? Yeah, that's how you get the eight squares. Is two Wonder Twins. Yeah. Well, Fates. Fates. What about Juggernaut? He's like, yeah. Dude, he had he has a, he has a ton of invincible, and you can't outwit him. You can't mind control him. You can't end cap him, and he can break right. through your blocking. All right. So let's let's talk about three hundred point Juggernaut. So he. All right, so first turn, he moves out 12. So he halves the map. Right. He mm-hmm. takes he takes three. Yeah. They're, they're going to shoot him. One, two, three. That puts him on click four. Mm-hmm. He then comes up with a 12 attack. Now, then, this is not saying that the, the fates don't shoot him either. Because well, the fates... Well, hopefully he stays out of range of at least some of the fates. Well, the fate can TK. The fates can TK the other fates and then shoot him. Yeah, I don't know how much damage you could put out. Um, well, they're going to be putting out four. Okay, let's say he gets shoot by two fates then. Yeah, so if, if you assume best case for Batman in this situation. Right. Yeah. Now yeah. I would assume that best case for Batman doesn't always happen. So he gets hit for three. Mm-hmm. One, two, three. Puts on click four. He gets hit for two more. Puts him on six. And then he gets hit for two more, puts him on eight. Um, so that might be the. And then you can barrier twice because you shot um, TK twice, shot twice. So that's five. And then you have two actions for barrier left. Do you have two actions for barrier left? You get seven on that team, right? I don't know what the team is. Well, it just depends. I think Justice League gets up to seven. It can. I don't know if you're using the, <coughs> the founding member on that team or not. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, fate, fate gives you plus two, right? Yeah, yes. you get five at least, but if you want a barrier. Yeah, so maybe you don't TK. I don't know. But, I mean, you maybe get one attack off then with a 12. Well, and sure. Def- well, can he just can he free quake them and kill yeah. a bunch of fates? Yeah, and since he has invincible, he doesn't, he doesn't take he doesn't take mystic damage because he has invincible. Right. Um. He's going to heal. Right. He, yep. He's going to heal if he breaks the blocking. 
which you will. Yeah. That's not awful. I don't. I'd have to see it played out on with like an optimal Batman team built, but it's yeah. It's an option. It has a chance, probably. Now against the rest of the meta, maybe I don't. Is maybe one man armies are good now. Vulture like, doesn't kill him. I mean. <laughs> yeah. I mean, isn't Just, the problem with one man armies Kobik? So. Yes. Well, so Kobik can't take away his special. Uh, yeah. Uh, defense action. power. She she can't mind control him, and she can't take away his power. Actions so. don't matter against this guy either, too, because he just causes stamina and removes tokens from himself. Yeah. Uh, right, but there yeah. is, but like Kobik would take him to WWE Arena and not Barrier. Well, sure, but then they just punching her 12, 13 for five or whatever. Like you can't stop him. He has colossal stamina. He's going to keep going. Yeah. Yeah. I'm well, that's true. Like, um, Black Widow kind of trounces him because she can take away his special defense power and then outwit him. Mm-hmm. But the other options are pretty good. Well, there you go, Tyler. I, I like I like to hear I like to hear that conversation. You're working through the the circular the, vulture, the Bat, vulture Batman Black Widow Man. Vulture Batman Black yeah. Widow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Black Widow crushes him. Uh, right. So. Yeah. I mean, that, that, well, it is. Nimrod. Huh? He mm. shoots you. Shoot, you shoot him. He shoots you right back. You're gonna flex down Batman's attack at that point. He could just kill Batman. Who? Nimrod. Nimrod. Oh, Nimrod. Just kill Batman, like immediately. You you can't shoot with Batman. Well, you. You know what? That. I don't. I. (laughs) Say it. Say it. Say it. (laughs) I I went through Team Worlds playing Nimrod and I hated (laughs) hated it. Yep, absolutely hated it. Um, yeah, but now say, say what you're gonna say, Dan. <laughs> I, I'll say what I was gonna say is it could be the most exciting experience you've ever had, or the absolute worst one you've ever had. Well, so like against Nimrod, Batman just doesn't damage himself, right? And he would try to in cap him, I guess. I don't know what he does. You can't, you can't, can't try to shoot him. No, you can't in cap him because then you still take the damage. Well, yeah, but I'm saying you don't damage Batman, so he only has one damage. So he's only hurt himself for one. So you can still try. Like you but can't, he, Nimrod has to out, out-roll Batman's attack roll, though, right? Um, how's it work? Yeah, yeah it's, 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 if your roll is equal or higher than the attacker's roll. Uh, uh, so Batman's already got a 15. Like, I don't, Nimrod no, no, doesn't have that. Plus three on you, that's about it. Well, no, his yeah. yeah, his attack value doesn't matter. It's the rolls that matter. Yeah. It's the, oh, okay. It's not. It's not the. Okay, the, it's not the plus. Yeah. Yeah. You oh, actually yeah. flex down your attack on Batman. Um, yeah. So you can have a. You need a higher roll to hit. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And he's got the shape change on top. Like that. I'm just. I'm just thinking right now. Like, one man armies could be good after rotation. Uh. Right. You know, I, 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 don't, back. I, I don't No, I mean, Nimrod doesn't get hurt by Kobik either. No. Because. Yeah, got, yeah, but. Then what was preventing Nimrod from seeing play before? Uh, IDs. Pulse, pulse wave. Pulse wave. Well, we only have one pulse wave, really. Pulse wave didn't wouldn't kill him. It would hurt him enough. And mm. IDs don't really care if you take damage like they they care a little bit but it's well a, i mean he also, has enough impervious to die to cyclops pretty you know right pretty and that now. and there's yeah. also more brutal retail right now yeah yeah because, because he damages them he right he, he can get retailed on because of his thing look at the one minute armies hold on 300 point Madrox. GG. He's got shape change his whole dial. Okay, we're not we're not here to give out bad suggestions. Okay. 
Uh, but yeah, no, he, he could just get retailed on by Surter. Nimrod can right now. Um, and that uh, could, but Surter would deal his one penetrating damage to him. Um, would he? It's after resolutions. I don't know when things. Yes, yeah. thing Surter's is after resolutions. It's Nimrod's? Yes. Where's I mean, ult- be- ultimately, though, isn't retail just the solution? Because, I mean, you could just block your one retail you want to use the retail with other really cheap retail. And just, it all depends on being able to uh, get through that barrier. But it's retail. I just said that with the tri and You said I couldn't yeah. do it. No, 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 no. A tri I was saying you couldn't get all the way over there. And you have to Pulse Wave. And Pulse Wave is only going to deal him one. So if you have a Dark Phoenix that you're protecting in the corner... And you have him completely surrounded by some other cheap, some whatever cheap I think, retail. I think my control's enough to get through it. Well, you have tri sentinels, three tri sentinels and a dark phoenix. <laughs> wow. Okay. 120 points. Okay. And it's a hellfire <laughs> team. Boom. I'm trying yeah. to think. Three <laughs> tri sentinels. Hey, don't 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 knock it. I mean, Jay's okay. winning oh. with a team that is primarily retail. With a lockjaw on a Q prime, okay, I mean so it's. Let's say well, I just I just said the same thing with tri sentinels, like and Batman. Everybody. Batman's gonna shoot the three tri sentinels and kill them, right? And mm-hmm. whatever else is on your team. And, and this is have... this is assuming he's gonna kill two. He could kill three if he gets TK'd out for an angle to hit all three. Which but is he not probably... hard to do. No, but he won't have the enhancements, so he if you have another person that he wants to actually deal good damage to, then he's not going to have all the fates around him. Um, it depends on me. We just have to build a team to see what it actually, how many actions it has, how many fates it has. So at one just, at one ninety five is the minimum to do what they're talking about, and that's without Power Woman. It's Batman, five Doctor Fates, and two Wonder Twins. Right. Um, that's the bare minimum. Yeah, I, so you still need like, perplex for his attack. Uh, you don't need it for his damage. Billy, does Billy have the keyword? Billy yeah. has, yeah, mm-hmm. he's the cheapest perplex you could get for yeah, Justice I mean, League. Like uh, you got things like a stripe. And stripe gives you perplex girl. and leadership. Yeah, yeah. Probably if they're three, out there, it's just... no, probably three Billys and then a founding member like um, Man, Martian Manhunter probably. Play? Yeah. Something like that. Um, uh, which would give you seven actions total, and the Martian Man Hunter helps a ton with the movement stuff. Mm-hmm. That's probably like close to optimal. Um, so he would need to have somebody next to him if he's going to be TK'd out, because he's got Mastermind, so he's going to want to use the Mastermind. Yeah, but so you TK out and mm-hmm. what? So that's one action. Then you move two fates next to him. That's two, three actions. You take the shot after perplexing him, 15 for five. That's four actions. All right, we well, only need to be like 13 or 15 for three if he's top dial in that situation. Well, yeah, he starts with a one, so. Yeah, you just don't you don't have to activate him. Like that's enough to like wipe out the retail and put a big dent in a lot of other things. No, 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 no. You can't make the attack if you don't. Have oh, it. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. You have to damage yeah. him still. Um, yeah, that's right. But you can do that pretty easy. Um, yeah. So then, that's what four actions I said. You still have three actions to do whatever barrier. Um, and that's most of the team wiped out. You have a Dark Phoenix, but when she retails, she's going to be killing things with Mystics. So even if she heals, she's going to damage herself again. And then you just have Dark Phoenix on her stop click. I don't think that's good enough. But then Dark Phoenix retails, and then Dark Phoenix shoots. Well, I don't think she could shoot, because she's only going to be killing Mystic figures. Yeah, that's probably fine. I mean, but th- th- you're still losing action, losing points at that point. Yeah, yeah but I'm, I'm saying I don't think that one Dark Phoenix can kill that entire team. 
But we're no. talking about we're talking about 120 points, right? Yeah, you have to come up with another the rest of the team that doesn't die to 15 for six Penn Psych. Yeah, so just anything Hellfire Club, I guess, is what we were talking about. So that's have Emma and something oh, else out there. But yeah, I just I think Hellfire Club might just be Batman. Like, like we already said that it just loses right. To the other. Yeah, yeah. We're, so we're, we're we're circling back here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move us along here. Okay. Hellfire Club probably loses to Vulture. Right. Um, and then we've completed the entire circle here. Each of us individually, all four, have completed the circle tonight. <laughs> um, I'm excited start, about armies now. Yeah, let's talk about Amazo a little bit. Um, Which one? A common a Amazo. Uh, so Kurt Kurt asked about um, common Amazo. Um, so the common Amazo taking one damage could potentially be good with the Danger Room fellas. It's a hundred percent good with the Danger Room fellas. So so I'm planning. Look, I'm, I'm planning at some point to do some sort of deep research, like mm-hmm. Adam Friedman level of research into what is the most popular in the meta now, most popular powers, and figure out, okay, well then, you have a percent chance if you have this power to only take one damage, because that's the power you're going to see most often. Yeah, but you have, have, have to figure out who are the primary attackers, because you don't care if a support has sidestep. True, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'd have to figure out the top figures, attacking figures in the meta, and then go from there. But he can have, pick with just the Danger Room and whoever else, Tri-Sentinels, Ultron, whoever else you want to choose. He has such a wide range of powers to choose from that you're likely to pick at least one or two of them. He can yeah, pick so, three. so like the Batman combo there is Amazo and Magneto. Um, Amazo picks Psyblast, right? And then Batman can't damage him more than once, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so that that's good. I, I mean, that's that's plenty doable. Um. So, um, Kurt asked, are any team up cards, um, uh, meta? And. So is Amazo worth getting rid of trouble alerts and let's cause troubles? Yes. Yes, I think so. I think so, so yeah. yeah. The, the team-up cards are the only way Amazo, I think, is meta. Amazo right. was borderline, but, you know, only picking three powers from somebody, ah, eh, that's okay. But that, that was it. He has a blank dial. So, like, three powers is are okay, but not great. It's the team up cards that give him two powers that makes him actually good. Like, yeah, so that gives him that gives him five, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the team of cards that are at the top, um, I, I think we're still the big thing would be um, Wonder Woman for your energy shield deflection and flurry for your vulture matchup. Um, I think that to me that one comes at the top. Right, and then Flash for hypersonic speed and super senses. Senses, yeah. Yeah. I probably, I actually put Flash above Wonder Woman. Because most of the teams that you're putting Amazo on is long range. So you're not going to have a charge to use with Flurry. You're just going to be kind of stuck with running shot. Because you're using the danger no, no, figures. No. Unless you're doing Sabretooth. No, no I'm... I'm I'm totally okay with ranking Flash above Wonder Woman, but I'm saying you've got to have Wonder Woman. Right. You should have all of them, but right, you should have all of them, but like the the Wonder Woman is your is your variability piece that's gonna that's gonna make or break you um, in the Vulture matchup. Well, so what point eight, level eight. What point level are you playing your Mazo at? Hundred or hundred twenty five. A hundred for me. Hundred, yeah. I think a hundred or I think I think one twenty five is fine as well. I like the extra defense. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, it'll go a long way. I think. Yeah, I mean seventy five is probably like his worst dial, right? Yeah. Yeah, I agree with yeah. that. Um, yeah. they're all like the stats on all of them are 
are really good. Um, now, can he be... He can't be healed, right? Right. Can't be healed, can't be equipped, and can't be chosen for Mastermind. Oh, that can't be equipped thing is really annoying, I know. Too. It's, it's, it would be a, so much better if he could be I, equipped. I had mentioned this um, on another podcast, uh, that if he had the ability to be equipped, he would be eroded very quickly. You think so? He would just be too... He's a better Goblin King at that point. Because he gets whatever you equip him with, the team-up card, so that's four powers, and then you get to pick three powers from somebody. Like That's way too many powers for that good of stats for 100 points, or 125 like if they had no, not put that in there, he would be stupid. Now he's just good. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. Um. We want things to be more broken around here, not less broken. <laughs> I, 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 I want things to be broken to the point to where they don't get fixed. And so, well, like, I, mean, I want to be broken enough, but not too God much, damn. where they're I like, mean, oh, I'm even if fix he... this. If he could, even if he could be eclipsed, as he is broken as Batman, probably not. No. Yeah. See, um, Batman's not getting fixed, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Batman has to get fixed. Yeah, I'm still have hope. Um, still have not fixed we, Tri Sentinels. So. We, we haven't seen a watch. Yeah. Once we see a watch list without Batman on it, then I will despair yeah. utterly. Um. Mm. Yeah. I think the so, team cards. Uh, uh, real quick, I just think the the main thing about team of cards that are just so dumb is that you could just pick you pick them at the beginning of the game. Like it's not you have to pick one for the whole tournament. It's like trader in his like gem. That. You just and they're not uh, additional game elements or anything technically. So right. you could just have however many you want and just be like, ah, uh, this game I want charge and super strength, so I'm choosing Superman as my team up. Like Do you. Um, shoot, I can't remember what I was going to say. Never mind, continue. I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. So, yeah, Amazel's, Amazel's great. Oh, are there any other team of cards that are meta, do you guys think? Um, so I want to make sure, did who else ask this? So, uh, or, oh, Kurt did ask her any other team up cards other than Amazo meta. Um... Oh man, I think my I think my answer at this point is no. I that, agree. That Martian Manhunter one is pretty darn good. Though. Yeah, but you have to play those figures. Mm-hmm. You have to problem. play one. Dude, one of them. One of them. No, you no, no, you have plus. No, you have to play Martian Manhunter. The rare Mash- Martian Manhunter is very good though. In what world? Hold, hold up. The rare one that has shape change and super senses. Traded? Traded? I like Traded how shape, just stand up yeah. team up cards. This is like the best Martian Manhunter we've had in years. Traded the, tra- the Trinity shape War shape. Martian Manhunter was the best. Uh, was awesome. Well, I said years, <laughs> to be fair. Um, mind control, phase and teleport, Martian Manhunter uses the phase and teleport, uses the four squares or less. After resolutions, he can make a close attack. Wow. That's cool. Shapeshift super senses when Martian Manhunter uses Shapeshift succeeds, you may change the target of the attack to a character other than the attacker that is adjacent to Martian Manhunter, even if otherwise illegal. Um, would there be some like exploit here with Batman that you make him attack somebody that he doesn't want to? I mean, I guess Mystics, but is there like a better thing? Oh, you could make you play this guy with Ace, and then Batman can't shoot him. Genius. Mm-hmm. Why wouldn't Batman be able to shoot because him? Because if he hits shape change, then he makes Batman shoot Ace and kill Ace, and then it does one to the whole team. <laughs> the idiots. That's it. That's the play. Tyler, you're so deep in the rabbit hole right now that I don't even... <laughs> Why don't you just play Ace? I am very confused. Both. Why not both? Yeah. Just yeah, run Ace out guy, there. I think this... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think this guy is okay for um for fifty points. He could he could see some play. What are the other options? You have oh to play? man, Tyler, Ace has barrier too. Yeah. Uh, dude, Ace is good. And you TK, and, TK and Perplex. Yeah. TK and Perplex and, and Prob. 
Oh my gosh, Tyler. I, t- I tell you what, if you're a Batman player, though, and you see them run Ace out there, oh. and you can target Ace and everybody else, do you take the shot? Depends. I mean, just on their Depends. team. Depends. Will my six... The team. Yes. Will whole, yeah, can I kill the rest of their team? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it just depends on what you're going to be able to kill. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. Or like, so, or like, I send out Fates to kill Ace. Does the you mean punching? Did I miss? Did I miss her having stealth? Well, no. I mean, it's it doesn't matter who uh, kills her. Yeah, they still. Oh, it's just, if, if she's if she dies ah, from a right, ranged attack, true. everybody takes it. So, yeah. sure, um, that's fine. Okay, again, sorry. Rotate the wheel, vulture. Doesn't really matter. All right, so t- t- team up cards. Team up cards. I don't think that much mana is good enough. It's just, it's basically like a stop click on a second click. I don't think that's good enough. Did I you think that... the Flash team up card gives him super senses and he already has it traded. Oh, oh that's sad. <laughs> Come on, guys. Like, why did you even print that? That's so stupid. Yeah. Did they did they errata that one? I feel like they're they eroded it or are going to. I can't remember. Like that they have to fix that, right? They can't just leave that card out there. I mean, uh, it's... It's... See, this is, you know. Oh, well, they can. I mean, they can. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's fair. So, yeah, I don't think there's any other good, any other meta team up cards for now. No, I'm just. I could be wrong. I just don't see it right now. Well, yeah, I agree. Let's, we'll, we'll, that, let's just say this. We don't see any right now. That answer is subject to change depending on how long we're in quarantine, I guess. Yeah, just don't don't forget that the rebirth set exists. I'll just say that. Like everyone forgets that uh, there's a bunch of to. Justice League figures in rebirth. Like I forget yeah. that. Okay, what are you, what are you pulling out of rebirth? It's I'm just saying yeah. the team up cards are with that Batman. Like, ba- Boomerang Batman is cool. Oh, that's not rebirth. Uh, that's Batman. Well, still that's an animated series that works. I mean, there's a a bunch of figures that could work with these team-up cards. Like, you have to play the original fig with the team-up card, but it could be any Flash. It could be right. any yes. Batman. Right. So there's a lot of combos we just, we haven't looked at yet. So, like Dan was saying, maybe while being in quarantine, we could look at some of these figures. Because, I, like, I pulled a Rebirth Superman the other day, and I'm like, well, this, this guy's not that bad. Like, I wonder if there's a team-up card I could play him with to make him better. So. Right. Well, it wouldn't make him better. It'd make the other person better, right? Uh, well, some of them help both. Like listed characters, oh. both of them. Like the Manhunter oh. card, everyone has that whole take maximum of one damage. So, yeah. All right. Um, Spencer White says, uh, "Does Batman 005A become meta?" What is that from this set? From JLU. Yeah, the uh, he decreases the roll for rollouts oh. by one. No. Within yeah. within uh, six squares. Yeah, if it didn't have that caveat, then maybe. Yeah, but is his team up cards yeah. making better? It definitely makes him better. I don't think it makes him playable. Does yeah. he have the, what about he the team up card that gives them like plus three if they roll a three? Yeah, that in their attack good. roll. Like, but you, you got to play a Superman and a Bat. Like, it's good. It's really good. Um, wait, let me. Just oh, you can play both of them though. Yeah, you got to play all three. If both yeah. listed friendly characters are on the map, which is Superman and Wonder Woman, so it's the Trinity basically. When Batman or the listed character attacks, and their final attack roll includes a three, they modify attack plus three. So that's good, because if you have a 3 in your roll, it's probably low. This turns a 4 into a 7 if you roll a 1. That's good. Um, it helps. It does help your math a lot, but I just but don't know. But you, have to, you have to play this Batman. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, like, his stats are fine, but he's he's just like a... 
he's just like a piece. He's he's not, you know. Right, and the, here's the thing, is that like, uh, and and sorry to keep coming back to this. Like, well, first of all, he just gets shot by Batman. <laughs> yeah. Um, he also just gets punched by Vulture. Yep. And to where a Mazo is variability on your sideline that makes him good. Like, I can't play 11 figures on my team to get the benefits of all of the good team-up cards. Right. Like, yeah. I, can't, I, can't, I can't play a Batman family and then have Superman and Wonder Woman or then need shape change and have to play a Martian Manhunter. You yeah. only get one team-up card anyway, so... Yeah, Ooh. it's. I think it's just team up cards add a wrinkle to the game that I don't know if we're ready to mentally prepare for. Because there might be that one really random Batman with that really random Super Woman, uh, Superman with that really random Wonder Woman that we just don't think about, and somehow they work. No, I disagree. Just because even if they do work. <laughs> they're not, they're not Batman, Vulture, or Black Widow. They just die, and like unless there's some don't die thing, like with Martian Man, it helps a little bit with that. But I don't know, man. I don't. For right now, I don't see it. Yeah, I I agree. Um, I don't know. Maybe like Daredevil and Immortal Hulk, and a bunch of green Proteuses protecting each other. I, I I don't know. That's just so hard to. I think I think it's just this whole quarantine thing has just got you guys down. And <laughs> you you guys are just treating Batman like the coronavirus. He's just the, it's just everywhere and just destroys everything. Yeah, he, there's the, he is and does. We don't. We don't even have like. We don't have all the team of cards. We don't have the set. Like some of us have some of it, but like we don't. We haven't played it. So like I'm giving some <laughs> slimmer of hope that there is stuff capable of handling all three. The the new trinity, if you will. Like no, you're a, you're a Batman denier. You do you like guys? Batman is not that bad. He's just like the flu. It's fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, Vulture that, is flu. Batman is not like the flu. You know, and and you know what? I may have been a Batman denier a few weeks ago, but I've watched and played some Batman. And oh, it's just it, it's it's I don't know. It's disheartening. Yeah. Like Black Widow causes a a glimmer of hope but then the damn flappy bird's still there so i've just been entering this circular argument four thousand times and just i can't i can't exit it right now and then so like i've just had to spend a few days and just put down clicks um because i I need i need that i need that next goal for that next event that's going to be post quarantine to rock and roll at. Yeah. You know, just 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 to tell, just because I'm looking at it, you could play a Batman and, a, and a, I mean a super, a Wonder Woman and a Superman for forty points. For forty points? Yep. The trouble alerts. Trouble alert and the ten point Superman robot. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, That's, from the new yeah. set. Cool. That's a good Wonder Woman too. So. But yeah. Then, but then when you lose your ten point Superman, you don't get the bonus anymore. Why do you have to oh. poo-poo on everything? God, I, I just go that's with how it. it works. Is that really how it works? <laughs> well, map. because, Jason, like... I'm just kidding you. I'm, I'm, I know. Well, no, I, 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 I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not... Because it says if, both, if the characters are listed okay. on the map. Yeah, yeah, you would lose it. Yep. I thought it was a starting force. That's sad. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, Jason. Like, I process these things into this triple-team blender... <laughs> so Dan, you thought about it a lot. We it, let's like say we accept the premise. Which is which is the team that beats the other teams? Which is the team that beat the other three right now? Yeah, I I'm leaning towards Black Widow, right? Because she has counters about the other ones. 
No, I the which team beats the other three? I, I don't think Black Widow beats Vulture that easily. Um, maybe not that easily. No, she, I, she has, it's I mean, not as it's not as easy as the other one beats the other one. So Black Widow beats beats um, beats Batman. Vulture beats Black, Black Widow, Widow, and then Vulture. Black Vulture. Widow Black Widow might beat Vulture. Um, but I think you also think about the unthemed version that takes the best out of all of those might have the best chance against an unskilled player. It's like a Batman Black Widow team. Yeah, I almost said Batman and Vulture. I keep wanting to put Batman and Vulture <laughs> on the same team. Yes. And that just Black keeps... Adam. That's, that, that, that's the Scott Crampton idea. Yeah. That would be so good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, how does, yeah. uh, how does Ultra Chase, Thanos, and uh, Isaac not just... Because Ultra, you just need Barrier, right, to stop Batman? So Isaac has the perpetual Barrier. And you just scoot your way up slowly. But that's the thing. You can't you, – you have no win scenario because you can't scoot and barrier around all the TK lines. And all the, the TK up, shoot the barrier with the – the Fate. Strangers. Or Fates, yeah. Yeah. And but if I mean, it's more it's, You could get – so I, I wonder how far you could get before not, – Not far enough. If you just move up the map and draw the angles – that's all you have to do is just think about that, draw, go up the map, draw the angles, uh, because you also have to be able to move uh, the barrier guy, because if your your timing gets off if he dies. Right. Um. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. It it, it sucks. <laughs> Short answer is, you can't move up good enough because you just die. I'm looking at Black Widow. Black Widow seems fun to me. Yeah, I mean, Black Widow's probably fine to play. Like, I I agree completely. Um, I think you can play it on Spy, and uh, I, you probably will be fine. I like Avengers. Uh, I mean, yeah, or Avengers, whatever, whatever. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not hating either way. So. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, I just keep entering this triple team blender and uh, I'm not having a good time. Fair. The problem is, like, the, like, if Batman just had, like, if he didn't have improved targeting hindering, that would help I, w- I wouldn't be stressed about him. Because I can just play random good pieces with stealth. Mm-hmm. Well, you still can. Mm-hmm. With with uh, Black with, with Black Widow. <laughs> I'm not sold on Black Widow beating Vulture. I'm just not sold on it. I'm not sold on it. I think there's a it's a it, it has something that other teams don't like. It can stop his charge with the free smoke. But we'll have to see if it if it's enough. Right. But nobody's I, playing Vulture because they're all playing Batman. See. <laughs> no, but they. <laughs> They are, because the last <laughs> qualifier just proved there was two vultures in top eight. I mean, they were there. The, yeah, but was Batman illegal to play? No. Nope. Okay, there you go. Sounds like we're just going to have to go back to Pog teams. So. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, man. Like, so, like, if I think about it, if there is a team that beats them all, it's probably... Oh, Here it is. If there is one. Mm-hmm. Okay. If there is, it's a Unimind. Juggernaut. <laughs> Full Unimind. <laughs> All right, I'm what ready. For... Maybe a Mezo with um, the robots. Oh, really? Maybe. 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 Um, Black because... Widow shits on a Mezo. Why? Yeah, how does she do she that? She kills him in one hit because she turns off all of his powers not on his dial. Shit. 
Never <laughs> mind. Just whatever. I'm. You know what? <laughs> Damn it. We're, we're, <laughs> we are exiting the blender. We are entering. Did I miss any questions? Uh, I appreciate all of the all of the questions from everyone tonight. Um, and you know what, Aaron Morgan, I don't think Caleb Reddick will ever forgive you for crit hitting him five times in one game. Oh, that's that's. I just I just can't bring myself to believe that that actually happened. Like the that, odds, astronomical. That's uh, then roll twenty dice for you. Hey, to be fair, Tyler, Black Widow does have to be within six squares and have line of fire. Yeah, I mean she. She ignores stealth, so you can't be stealth. Um, but, yeah, she does. There's a good okay. taxi for her to use, though. <clears throat> yeah. I like All right. a lot. All right, we are exiting the blender two hours later. Okay. Final thoughts, <laughs> Alex, go. Um, I'm pretty happy that it, after everything is said and done, my robot team might be the one that breaks this whole Trinity <laughs> thing, so... Feeling pretty good about this. Jason? Uh, I don't even know. Stay home. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Yeah. Tyler? Um, I don't know. I'm so, I was still excited about Black Widow. Um, I think she's, she just seems like really fun to play to me, I guess. So I'm excited for that. Yep. So my final thoughts, we'll do the full JLU set review, assuming we get the rest of the team up cards between now and next week. Um, you know what? And we're sending it out there, just like Jason said, from all of us here at the Clickstaff crew, stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for going down this long road with us today. Um, I, you know what? I hope you learned something. I hope Tyler gets a new mic by next week. And a thanks, clock. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for listening to Clickstaff today. We'll talk to you all next time. See you. Later. Later.